I'm Father Ed, Dean of St Edmunds, and as part of our Adventures series, I thought it would be good to have Eddie's Eats, where we share easy to prepare recipes and we learn from each other. And the idea was really good, but today I was trying to make pancakes and I'm going to share with you, um, it's been an absolute disaster. The recipe is really good, BBC recipes are always simple to prepare and very tasty. So I got the BBC recipe for pancakes and everything was good except I don't have weighing scales. The recipe is simple, it's an egg, flour, milk and water and a pinch of salt and a bit of vegetable oil. So it sounds really simple, but I didn't have a weighing scale. So I was approximating the flour, then I added more milk and a bit of water, then another small egg, it should have been a big egg, and then some more oil, and I ended up... Um, one or two of the pancakes are probably edible, I'm going to try later on. The others I'm going to sell to Cambridge City Council as paving stones, because they didn't work out how I intended. Nevertheless, like a television chef, I'm going to um, pretend how to cook perfect pancakes. You have a bowl. You put the amount of flour in. You'll find it on BBC Recipes Pancakes. I halved the recipe. Then the flour is there. You mix the egg or the eggs and the milk and the salt together. Whisk them with a fork or if you've got a whisker, that's even better. And then you gradually add it to the flour, keeping beating it, beating it, beating it. And until you have a, a, a batter, that's, that's the batter, it's called batter, egg, milk, flour, salt, that pours like that. Then you add some vegetable oil. I've got the bottle somewhere. Anyway, I've got the bottle somewhere. Vegetable oil, throw it here. This is sunflower oil to the pan until it's smoking hot and then you drain it off and you pour a little pool of mixture into the middle of the pan and then swirl it round so you get a really thin layer of batter. That's where my problem started because ideally when you have the thin layer of batter cooking over a hot electric ring you can do this and it moves around. Mine's stuck, don't know why. And if it doesn't stick, in ideal circumstances, you chop it and then you, you turn over the pancake, toss the pancake and do the other side without using any of these implements that I had to use. And to use a metal implement on a non-stick pan is never good, but I did. I'll go to confession. So, um, you wait 30 seconds, 45 seconds till it's done on one side, then either toss it or turn it over and do it on the other side. Now, pancakes are really versatile. A good way to eat them is with a squirt of lemon juice and sugar, and then you roll them up a bit like this. So that's pancake. I put lemon juice and sugar, and then I roll it like this. And then if you want to save washing up, you can eat with your hands or you can use a, a knife and fork if you're polite. I live alone, I'm not always polite. So that's basically pancakes. Today is called Shrove Tuesday or Pancake Tuesday. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me again. Um, Pancake Tuesday, because the tradition is Lent begins tomorrow, Ash Wednesday, and it's a time of fasting. So before Ash Wednesday, you use up all the meat, all the eggs that you can't use during Lent. We're not as strict now as we used to be. So the idea was making pancakes, you used up the milk, the eggs and things that you couldn't use during Lent. Uh, it's also called Shrove Tuesday. And Shrove is from the old English word verb to shrive, to hear confessions. 
So on Shrove Tuesday, you went to the priest and confessed your sins so that you could make a suitably spiritually prepared Lent. So Shrove Tuesday, Pancake Tuesday, tomorrow is Ash Wednesday. I'm going to do one of these um, Eddie's Eats every week at least, maybe twice a week over the next few weeks. I hope they won't all be disasters like this one was. Um, my mum was the pancake queen. She never measured anything. She threw the flour in, the milk, water, egg, salt, a bit of oil, did it all and they came out perfectly every time. She's looking down on me now thinking, where did I go wrong with the education of my son? So mum, in heaven, um, sorry, I'll do better next time. Next time, my recipe is going to be something called Grandpere Kirschelsche. That's Luxembourgish or German for potato cake, shredded potato and different things done nicely. And it suits the weather that we have now perfectly. So thank you for being here for this first Eddie's Eats. And I hope that you are forgiving uh, of my, it didn't work out as planned. If you have a simple recipe that you can record on your phone, uh, 10 minutes or less would be great. You don't have to record peeling the potatoes or whatever. And if you can do that, just send me an email and we'll post it on the Adventures site on the, on the intranet. So thanks and bye for now. There are squirrels waiting at my door for peanuts, so I'll give them some peanuts. See you soon.